this is Chris with ChrisTalk.com. Welcome back to our DNN9 video series. In this, our ninth video in the series, we're gonna to talk to you about adding a module to a page in DNN9. So we're gonna go through the process of switching into the edit mode within the persona bar on a page. From there, I'll show you the ability, uh, the, the functionality that allows you to add a new module to the page and talk about some of the modules that are available and then we'll talk about how you can add an existing module to a page. Now an existing module would be a page, a module that's on another page that you wanna to copy to the page that you are copying or adding an existing module to. And in the next video in this series, we're gonna go through our new DNN9 extension templates for Visual Studio 2017. Let's go ahead and get into our DNN9 website here. I'm currently logged in as a host or a super user account, and because of that, I have access to the persona bar here on the left side of the page. Now from here, we currently have a blank page here on our home page. I wanna go ahead and add a module or add some content to that page. In order to do that, we're gonna go down to the bottom left-hand corner of the page, we're gonna click on that pencil icon. Now once you click on that pencil icon, the page will refresh, and here we now have the page in edit mode. Now when we're in edit mode, we see a few things on the page we didn't see a few moments ago. We have these little dotted lines all across the page. Now depending on the skin or the theme of our page, the layout of these lines may differ. Each one of these dotted boxes is a pane, a location where we can place modules or content onto our page. Now in order to add a module to the page, we're gonna go down to the bottom of the page here, and when we're in edit mode, we have a new toolbar across the bottom. From there, we've got an add module option, an add existing module option, page settings, and an option to close the edit mode. We're gonna use this first one, the add module option. Now when you go to choose an, to add a module to the page, you're given a list of modules that are installed within this DNN9 website. Now, you can see the very first one listed here is the HTML module. The HTML module is a very common module on DNN9 websites and actually all DNN websites in which you get a rich text editor with which you can manage the content on your pages. It's one of the most commonly used modules across all sites. In addition to that, we have a module such as the account login, a registration module, configuration module, a menu module, the dashboards, consoles. There's a number of different modules available within DNN. And if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see that list will populate with any installed modules within your DNN installation. We're gonna start with that HTML module, so I'm gonna scroll back up to the top there. You can also, when you're adding a module to the page, filter. So if I want to type in the word HTML here, you can see it will show me anything with HTML in the module name. We have the HTML module and the HTML editor management module. We'll talk about that in a later video in our DNN9 series. So we're going to go ahead and choose the HTML module in order to add that module to a page. Now as soon as we do that, you can see we have this little floating modal window here and we can take that and choose where we're gonna place the module on the page. As we drag that module around to the different panes, you can see it highlights the pane where we're gonna place the module as soon as we release the mouse button on our mouse. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and add this module, and I'm gonna add it into this pane right here that stretches essentially the full width of this page. If I go ahead and release that mouse button, that will drop the module here into the page. Now the HTML module, we'll cover in a future video, but we can, if we need to go in and make changes to the content of that module, we can mouse over the actions menu for the module and choose the edit content option. Now just to quickly show some content here, we are gonna go ahead and put some sample content in. And then from there, we can click save. That will save that particular content within the module. And if we go ahead and close the edit mode, we'll see that that, that content is now displayed on the home page. So we've added an HTML module. Like I said, in future videos, we'll talk about more details around the HTML module. But before we wrap this video up, let's go ahead and talk about the add existing module option. 
Now, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to navigate to a different page. We have a page here called products. When I navigate to that page, we can see that there's currently no content displayed on the page. If we go ahead and click the edit pencil, it'll take us into edit mode. There is actually an HTML module here already on the page. And the reason it did not display before we were in edit mode is the module hasn't been configured with any content, so it actually hides itself. If we went into the edit content option and saved the changes or made any changes and then saved those, then the content would start to become visible on the page. But let's talk about how we could copy that module we just added to the home page and make a duplicate copy of it here on this particular products page. So I'm going to go to the add existing module option, which is that second option down in the toolbar at the bottom. And from here, we get to choose which page we want to copy the module from. We're going to start with the home page. And what we get here is an option to choose that particular HTML module that we added to the home page. Now, if we had more than one module on that page, they would all be visible here and available to us. So if we go ahead and choose that module, that's going to make a referential copy of the module from the home page. And what I mean by a referential copy means that if the content on the home page changes, that same content here on the products page will also change. If I don't want that, if I, if I want a new copy, a, a unique instance of the module, same content to start with, but if I change one, it does not change the other, I can choose the make a copy option, which is that checkbox above, before I click on the plus sign here. For now, we're gonna go ahead and make a referential copy. So the, to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that HTML module. And from there, I can decide where that module is going to go. Now, it does not have to go into the same pane it was on the home page. I can choose a different pane here and go ahead and provide that module now into the products page. And you'll see that module is available here and it has that same sample content that I put on the home page. Now, let's go ahead and quickly make a change to that content and watch what happens with this referential copy. So I'm gonna go in either to the edit content option within the HTML module, or I can go into this little pencil icon that shows up the inline edit functionality. And I'm gonna change this content from originally being put some sample content to adding a V2 onto the end of that. Now, if I move my mouse again, I get this little toolbar. I can go ahead and save those changes to that HTML module. That content is now saved here on the products page. If I go ahead and close the toolbar at the bottom, we can see the content from that module being displayed. Now it still says put some sample content V2 in that module. If we switch back to the home page, we're going to see that the content on the home page has also changed due to that referential copy that we made. So that's a very quick intro to how you can add a module to a page in DNN. There are hundreds of modules that are available for the platform. You can find those in the DNN store or various open source libraries or even the DNN Forge on dnnsoftware.com. In our next video, be sure to check out our new Visual Studio 2017 extension templates. This is Chris Hammond with chrisdoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.